Hey, what up? This is AEO4, and today we'll learn how to set up our PS5 DualSense controller with Bluetooth on PC. And this can be done with the Xbox 360 controller emulator method. By the way, any additional suggestions that I provide are added in the description below as links. The Xbox 360 controller emulator is a solution to convert any gamepad connected to your PC to an X input controller which is the same input type for Xbox controllers. This is the type of input supported by Windows computers, and by doing this, it will make your gaming life on PC with a controller so much easier. Let's dive into the chase right away. The first thing we need to do is connect our PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to the PC through Bluetooth. Now for that, go ahead and press the PlayStation and the share button for about three to five seconds. This will initiate the peer mode and it will start blinking in blue usually. Now go to your computer and click on add Bluetooth or other device and then click on Bluetooth. Now this is going to start searching for any Bluetooth device that is trying to connect to your computer and choose the wireless controller. After that just give it a couple of seconds for it to actually set up the wireless controller successfully. Next step is go to devices and printer and go ahead and right click on the wireless controller, go to game control settings and then click on properties and make sure that your controller has been detected and it communicates with Windows properly. After that, go to your game folder, right click on the x 2 control emulator and run as an administrator. If you're having issues detecting your game controller auto configuration or getting an error message saying pad zero misconfigured, then go ahead and check the card up here to learn how to solve that issue. For now, I'll proceed to configure the PS5 DualSense controller in the X360 CE. Now, let's go ahead and configure the buttons, which can be mapped manually. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But if you don't have any time for that, don't hesitate to download the controller configuration that I have added in the description below. Five minutes later. So now let's go ahead and test our game controller on Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. If you're interested in adding your PS4 buttons into your Naruto Ninja Storm 4 game, then check out the video up here. For more awesome videos at AO4 TV, then check here. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we release a brand new video. This was AO4. See you on the next one.